Hey everyone, welcome to the latest design campaign by Wargame Forge. I am Chris, the man behind Wargame Forge, and with this design campaign, I am looking to work through and get my gothic building designs ruined. <laughs> if you're new to what I do here, uh, I tend to make a pristine and then a ruined, or also known as battle damage version, of a lot of my terrain. And my gothic line is one of my biggest and apparently one of my most popular ones because I've been getting a lot of requests from people to complete ruining my gothic buildings. And I currently have, I think, 99, if not a little more, definitely more if you count the gothic walls. But we're not dealing with gothic walls right now, we're dealing with the buildings. So I have about 99 gothic buildings and only 26, 27 of them are ruined. So I am going through with this design campaign as the motivation to work through and get the remainder uh, of these buildings done. And for this design campaign, I am offering 13 STL files, the, the 13 buildings I'm going to show you in this thing, for a low fee of $25. You get all 13 of these files, plus every additional file that is unlocked through each stretch goal. And the stretch goal is every $500 a new design is added. And the goal, the initial goal for this is only $500. So I have no doubt that this will see the initial funding reach. And I am hoping we hit many, many, many stretch goals. And uh, if you go down and scroll down, you're going to see we have stretch goals um, for, I think I have up to number 57 out of 99 currently done. So we are going to look at numbers 27, to 30, you know, 27 to 29, then 31 to 39. We're skipping 30 because 30 was already done. That's my Gothic Imperial Palace and the ruined version of that has actually been offered for many years. So I'm going to go through here and as I'm going through the video, the, the, the STL files, we're going to put out my Warhound Titan as the, uh, so you can at least get an idea of the default scale of a lot of these buildings because as I say, don't go by how they look in my hand because I am six foot eight with big meaty hands so things look small when I hold on to them. So here we go. I'm just going to go over a lot, go over this one a little more in depth than the rest so we can just go over some of the design features. Now all of these are printed without supports and all of these are printed on a FFDM printer specifically the Flash Forge Adventure 3 printer is what I use and this is printed at um, 0 0.18 millimeter layer height. So, as I said, no supports. And then right there, as you can see looking in there, you're going to see a lot of some filament hanging down. Now, I let that happen on purpose because I think the filament hanging from the ceilings adds to the, the ruined battle damage look of these buildings because you would have stuff like conduit and wires hanging down, especially in a building that has been hit by explosive and other firearms. So I leave that in there, and I leave that up to the person who buys the building. When, when I print them, I tend to leave that in there, unless, of course, it's obnoxiously a large amount, and I try to actually fix that in the design process. So for them to make that call if they want to leave that in there. So that's kind of how I print. Um, I have not printed any of these in resin. I don't see a problem printing these in resin. But when you're resin printing, you might want to use some uh, supports on these because uh, I don't know how how things might be droopy when it comes to resin printing. I'm sorry, I don't like resin printing. I tend to stick with a filament printing. So some design changes from the previous ruined buildings is normally on the other ones, the rubble around the base, I didn't put on a nice smooth edged base for the building it was kind of just left jagged and open and I've actually had some people say while well, they like the look they found it to be quite pokey and I don't know and it could be sharp but I've never drawn blood I've not heard anyone get cut because of it but I decided to be a little safe and all the rubble are going to be on these nice smooth little bases so I hope that doesn't detract from the look for anyone who may be used to the older designs but yeah there we go. And just general with my designs, I like having the open look here. You're looking in, you're actually seeing like interior walls, doors. The floors are all textured with rubble. So you give that a good uh, painting and then a wash to bring that out. So I like how that looks. So this is number 27. And I'm going to hopefully remember the numbers as I go through here. So I'm going to show off quickly some of the rest. And all the rest here, as you see, are going to be 
have been printed the same way as I described this one. I don't think I did much cleanup on any of these. So you're going to see them, how they came off of the printer. So plus 27, 28. And typically, I'm, I'll just I'll say this too. Um, footprint, basically the outer shape of the building. There's... They're pretty much you're going to see like um, four of a kind, three of a kind, four of a kind of this shape, and they just get taller. Pretty much is what we're looking at from like um, five to eight levels, or what we're looking at, or like uh, some of the older ones I have are like one through four. So we're completing those. The next one, and just so you can see, yeah, it doesn't really show well from above the height, but it's a good size. I will admit, I have not played Adeptus Titanicus as much as I wanted to. We were starting to gear up to play uh, at, towards the end of 2019, and then, you know, that thing happened in 2020 uh, through a monkey wrench in a lot of my plans, and I ended up uh, having to relocate. So here I am. Uh, I wish I had some of the larger Titans to show off what some of the stuff looks like uh, next to those. So the next, we have the Gothic Cathedral. Come on, focus. You know, maybe I should take this out so it's not focusing on that. All right. So this is one of my earliest designs of the undamaged, so I decided to blow up the uh, Gothic Cathedral here, and so this is what is left. And now we have the Ruined Tech Cult Citadel, which is one of the larger pieces I made. Uh, this is the original one. I, should, I wish I had one here. Pretty nice and tall. So we had the central tower blown up and all blown in there, so... Oh, what a... I don't know if I tried. Ah, the Warhound won't fit in there. That's stuff. But, maybe if you're playing Epic, it'd be nice. Oh, I will say this. So the, the tops and a lot of this space in here, they're the size of the square Epic 40K infantry bases. So those infantry bases do fit on there nice. Again, I wish I had some... That's my lack of pre-planning. Okay, so I'm just going to move this one over here. So that was number 31, so here's 32, a new shape for the building. Come on. Oh, uh, I, I wish... It, oh, there we go. Okay, good. So you can get a good look at the battle damage. Next... This one, the whole top of the building was blown off. Uh, I posted a preview picture of this one on my Facebook page for the for my for War Game Forge. Initially, I had it so that it looked like a U had the uh, the additional side there, kind of up. Um, but I decided to collapse it down. You can actually see some of it down there in the rubble. Okay, I actually I backed that up. So this is the last one of this size. All right. And this one, I'll say the design, the STL file you get will have one minor change than this finished one. I forgot to put the inner support wall in here. So the file you get for this one will have that wall in there. And then the last four, here we go. I do like this one. kind of envisioned a high power shot just went through this you know something the target was hiding behind the building and they said so what building and blew the whole thing up and every so often I try something interesting like this one I, I envisioned an explosion happening low down here towards the uh, foundation and it slowly caused all the floors to come crumbling down that's why we got this odd overhang like this so and then the last one this is number 13 so hope you guys like what you're seeing here I will have pictures of these um, on of the in the design program images of these within the body of this design campaign. Um, 
know, I'm just going to hold on to this one as we're talking here so you at least have something to look at as I finish out this video. So like I said, we have 13 items here, 13 files for $25, less than $2 a file. Campaign is unlocked at $500, and at every additional $500, a new file is added. Design work for uh, up to number 57 are complete, and I saw that's almost, that's I think, uh, that's the, the $9,500 stretch goal, and I still have up to number 99 to design and complete work on. So we have a very good chance of unlocking a lot of files depending how well this goes and then I will say any file that does any stretch goal that's not reached will be rolled over into the next design campaign where I will continue this but I hope not that I don't have to if this is a success and to help this campaign along the way I am offering probably the largest amount of add-ons I have ever done for a design campaign because I was able to get a lot of stuff done for this, as I've been working, kind of, I got really inspired to work on stuff, we'll say, and so that's what I've been doing. Um, when you scroll down and look at the add-ons, I have, the, the, the two typical ones I always offer are the hex terrain for people who are into battle tech, because that's a very popular one, and also my city, uh, city tile, or city block tile system, which is interlocking city blocks and streets, and they just lock together with tabs, so really, it's real simple to put together, and no no hex, so it's very open, so perfect for Adeptus Titanicus or Alpha Strike if you're playing that uh, without a hex in Battletech. Uh, you know, I'll just put this here, so you're just, I'm not always just playing with that building. Um, on top of that, I have been asked about doing ruined versions of the city tile set, so I have that, and... When I do a ruined version of any tiles, I tend to do three versions of the tile for each tile of different ruins, uh, different battle damage. Also, I personally hate seeing repetitiveness in stuff that should not be so repetitive. It's almost like those old cartoons where you see characters running in the background keeps happening over and over again. So I wanted some variety in there. So like, uh, give me an example of the city tile set has 10, which I think it has more. I'm just using it as an example. The ruined city tile set has 30 tiles and the price is only and the price is not tripled, the price is only doubled, so the you're actually getting a better deal on the Ruined. And on top of that, I have offering a two hex wide street tiles. I've done one hex wide for hex map skill for Battletech, and I did recently a three hex wide. And while it looked good, a lot of people are saying it may be a little too wide, so I designed a two hex wide, and I'm offering the undamaged and the battle damage version of that. And the big stuff includes... Um, if this is your first time seeing my gothic design, my gothic building designs and the ruined designs, and you like them and you want to get them and, you're, and you want to get them all, I am offering all 99 of the undamaged buildings for $200. I know that sounds a lot, but if you went and purchased them straight um, through my mini factory. I tend to sell those for $3 each, and there are a couple in there that are like $4. Uh, the Tech Cult Citadel, as well as the Imperial Palace, are $4, just a little more. So if you go in and you want to get all of those, all 99 of those, you get a good savings on that. And I have also have all of the currently released ruined um, buildings, the Gothic Ruin Building 1 through 26, plus the Imperial Palace, for, I can't remember, it's probably about $94, I think is what I listed them as. And those buildings tend to go for 4 to 5 because the ruined version of the buildings, I, I tend to price a little higher because there's a lot more work that goes into those. So you can get those for a really good deal, and I have those available in the no base, like these, the hex base for Battletech, and the hex max scale for Battletech, if you like using those in Battletech. So I have those. I hope you like what I'm offering here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I And also I want to thank everyone who took the time to watch this video and listen to me and take a look at what I'm offer, offering here. And I will certainly say thank you for any support that you can offer in this program. So I think that's all I have to say here. I think I've covered everything that needs to be covered. And we're now almost at the 15 minute mark. So this is a good time to say have a great time. Have a great day, everyone. Have fun gaming, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.